Hey there, I'm Sabrina Imbler and I'm a writer for Wirecutter and with this video we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we thought it'd be cool to invite some special guests on to share their product recommendations that they think that you might love. And while these products haven't gone through the rigid battery of Wirecutter tests, we recognize that there are a lot of cool products out there that we haven't covered. Uh, so with that, that brings my attention to the man sitting beside me. Alan Henry is the editor of Smarter Living at the New York Times and before that he was the editor-in-chief of Lifehacker. Welcome, Alan. Thank you, thanks for having me. Of course. So what do you have to share with us today? I love this thing, this lovely desk mat. All this is really, I mean, and it's hard to tell by looking at it from a distance, but what it really is is a really big mouse pad. But desk mats as a replacement for mouse pads, uh, you put your keyboard on it, you put your mouse on it, like we have a little mouse over here, and like I would sit at my desk with my keyboard here, and my mouse here, and then my cup of coffee up here. And the nice thing about it is that like, you know, if you've ever had like a drink skid across your desk or like you almost spill something onto your keyboard because that happens to everyone all the time, like you can't really move stuff around. I mean, you can if you have a light touch, but like you can't really, yeah. yeah. It keeps your keyboard in one place, keeps your mouse in one place. You don't have to put like all your stuff on it, but it's just a nice way to adorn your desk with something that's a little personal and a little special, but also serves a real purpose. Yeah. Um, I, at work, I found, um, I use an MX Master at work as opposed to an Apple mouse, but you can tell even with the Apple mouse, there's all this cruft on the bottom mm -hmm. that collects just, it's just natural dust, right? But if you keep a mouse on a mouse pad, it doesn't collect all that stuff. If you have a huge desk mat, then nothing you put on your desk will collect that stuff. So it just keeps things a little bit more tidy. So I imagine this also kind of fixes the problem of your mouse going um, over the mouse pad yes. in an overzealous click. Which happens to me all the time. Mouse pads in general are really small and there's a reason most people don't bother with them anymore unless they have used it forever. So this actually gives you a mousing surface you can use without flinging your mouse way, way off of the, the pad. And that's also part of the reason why gamers love it because because like if you have your mouse sensitivity set really low or something and you like these big sweeping movements, you know, the, if you have a tiny mouse pad, you're way off the side of your desk. So. Yeah, I can imagine you at your smarter living desk being a very zealous yeah, mouser. Yeah, I'm a very, very vigorous editor. <laughs> I, I'm not at all. What What is different about this desk mat from other desk mats? Well, well, this one particularly I love because it has our solar system on it. And I am. And you have an astronomy degree. I do have an astronomy degree. This is a nice reminder, just when I'm sitting at home playing video games or I'm just trying to like work or something and I just look down and I see, you know, all of our planets and representations of all of their moons. Oh, I was wondering what those little dots were. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was all the major moons. Where someone says, actually, <laughs> Jupiter and Saturn have way more moons yeah. than that, which is true. Someone's gonna call me out on that. Someone is. <laughs> uh, well, but, I imagine oh, wow. there are like lots of different patterns and colors that you could get to like display yes. your former undergrad degree that you no longer use. <laughs> exactly, you no longer use in whatever career you have. So if someone wanted a desk, a desk mat of their own, uh, where would they go to buy it? You can get them just about anywhere. The only problem uh, and thing you have to look out for when shopping for one is uh, when you shop around, look for something that is labeled mouse pad or mouse mat, uh, because what you'll find is a lot of blotters. And What's a blotter? So desk blotters are an archaic, relic of pa pen and paper desks. A lot of them are leather, they're black, they're designed to, you know, add a sense of refinement and elegance to your desk. They make, they make you look like a rich person desk, like an, ex <laughs> an executive desk. And that's not this. I mean, some people love that, but that's not this. Uh, so they're often lumped together. So you have to make sure you search by mouse mat or desk mat, yeah. and then you'll find what you I can doing. imagine like dragging a mouse over leather is not the it's most not the best. pleasant experience. Not the best. <laughs> yeah. Well, Alan, thank you for being with us here today. Thanks for having me. Where can people find your writing or your work online? Well, you can find me in the Smarter Living section of the New York Times at nytimes.com slash smarter living. You can find me on Twitter at Halo Phoenix, H-A-L-O-P-H-O-E-N-I-X. Uh, Fast spelling. <laughs> uh, I try, I say it a lot. Talk to me, I talk back, I talk to everyone. And, well, not everyone, but most people. <laughs> Alan Henry is the uh, editor of Smarter Living at the New York Times, uh, and he was formerly the editor in chief of Wirecutter. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> really? <laughs>